Thank you very much for joining us here in Zimbabwe District for the International Labor Day celebrations tomorrow under the theme promoting public spirit in the public sector. And here at the playgrounds where the main celebrations are going to take place tomorrow, preparations are underway. We've seen several meetings being organized by the organizing committee since uh, morning to ensure that tomorrow goes on smoothly. The security agencies are also preparing. Remember, tomorrow we'll have a parade comprising of the police, UPDF, and the prison services. They are also preparing to ensure that tomorrow is all well. But as workers celebrate their day, it's good to note that they are still grappling with a number of challenges, especially those in the public sector. And one of them is to do with their pay. And this has resulted into several strikes since last year. We saw the doctors going on strike for almost three weeks, demanding for a pay rise from government. And in this, government has tried to come up with a harmonized pay structure for all public servants. Remember last year, we were told that it was looking for about 1.6 trillion shillings to ensure that in the next financial year, 2018-2019, their salaries are raised. Our duty is to explain to the public servants that yes, the government has got the will. The government has got the, uh, the interest to pay the public servants. But the question is, do we have the money to pay this at this time? And that's why government has come up with a phased approach. We also sought out the views of the people here in Zimbabwe on what they think about the Labor Day celebrations. Well, tomorrow we expect His Excellency the President of Uganda, Yoweri Kakutam Seven, to grace the occasion, which is expected to start at 10 a.m. And there are several medals that are going to be given out to workers who have excelled in the different disciplines. Habad Ziwa and the rest of the team here in Sembabole district.